Hello everyone, we are the Gummy Bears FLL Team 44355, now part of the FRC Team Mechanical Advantage 6328. In this video, we'll try to show you the basic steps of our mission analysis related to this year's masterpiece, Robot Game, so you can use it as a reference to make your own. Hope it helps! So what is mission analysis and why is it important? Mission analysis is the process to understand the mission requirement, analyze mission difficulty, brainstorm solutions, calculate the potential score, and decide your mission sequences. Each year, the robot game has at least 15 challenge missions with a very tight time constraint. In fact, almost 99% of the teams are not able to solve all the missions within the 2 minutes and 30 seconds time limit. So, which mission to solve first and how to solve it in an efficient way? Mission analysis is the way to help you brainstorm ideas and design your team's game strategy so you will have good chance to succeed. During the process, you first analyze each mission, come up with attachment ideas and prototype them, then test and evaluate them to find the best ideas. The next step is a multi-mission analysis to see if you can integrate a few missions together to gain more scores within a limited time, followed by combining mechanisms into one attachment to solve multiple missions, designing a proper navigation route, then testing and iterating your designs to get the best solution. Keep in mind that the solution process in FLL is equally as important as your creative solutions, so it is always a great idea to present your analysis process during the judging session to demonstrate that you followed the engineering design process to solve the missions. The mission analysis process generally involves these following steps. First, you need to read the robot game rulebook and understand the requirements for each mission and the possible points you could get. Then, you want to determine the level of difficulty for solving the mission, such as how easy is it to design an attachment to solve it, how hard is it for the robot to navigate there, etc. You will also want to figure out possible mechanisms used and potential attachment ideas for your solution. Next, you want to find whether the mission is easy to reach or difficult to navigate to and find if you can solve it with similar attachments for other missions or solve it along the way to other missions. If there is potential bonus points or risk factors for the mission, you should put a note in your analysis. For this year's Masterpiece mission, there are a total of 15 missions, with Mission 2, the theater scene change, as a shared mission that could win you bonus points. In the next few slides, we will analyze each mission until the rolling camera. I hope you learned something in this video and have fun watching it. The first mission is called the 3D Cinema. This mission requires the small red beam to be on the right of the black frame to score 20 points. By the way, this is my favorite mission. This is the analysis we came up with for this fantastic dragon mission. As I said just now, the small red bar must be completely to the right of the black frame to earn a maximum of 20 points. We decided to rate the difficulty a 3.5 out of 10 since the navigation could be difficult and with some solutions, accuracy is needed. We thought of a lot of different attachments that could be used to complete this mission. For example, a lift arm to push down the lever, a wedge on the side of the mission to push the mission to forward, a grabber or a one-way door to drag the dragon out, or putting a heavy attachment or hammering the orange levers down. That one's the best idea and the funniest. There are only some ideas of many possibilities there are to solve this mission. The location of this mission is pretty close to the left home area, which means there is a possibility this mission can be solved from the launch area. A possible navigation route to get to the 3D cinema is to simply move forward from the left launch area facing towards the mission. This will bring you to the left side of the mission where you can use an arm to push down the very brightly colored lever <laughs> to complete the mission and let the dragon scare the people in the 3D cinema. The second mission is the theater scene change. In this mission, you have to change the scenery to either blue, 10 points, pink, 20 points, or orange, 30 points, by pushing down the lever multiple times. This is also the shared mission of the season. So, there's a bonus if the active scenes match between the two teams. 20 if blue is matched, 30 if pink, and 10 if orange. Because of this, before a match, you should ask the other team what color they would do and choose the color you will. 
Here is our analysis for mission two. Overall, we had a difficulty level of five for completing the mission, but a difficulty level of eight for the bonus. This is as you have to sync with the other team to create multiple programs for each color and you have to time the pushing of the lever. Possible attachments for this mission are the crank attachment, a piston, or a wedge attachment. For the navigation to the mission, the robot could follow lines or line square at the black line in front of the mission, then go to the mission. One note here is that you'll need to make sure the robot waits for the wheel to return to its original position before pushing the lever again, or the wheel will turn the wrong way. Ba -ba -ba! Mission 3 is called Immersive Experience. In this mission, if the three Immersive Experience screens are raised, 20 points are awarded. Team equipment may not be touching the Immersive Experience model at the end of the match. The max points immersive experience gives us is 20 points. Starting from the left home area, which is closer, navigation to immersive experience is fairly simple. There aren't really any missions in its way, so the robot could drive straight towards the model. It can be combined with any missions in its vicinity. However, given the small orange lever that is needed to activate the mission, precision is needed in order for the robot to push it down. This can be avoided by using a wider attachment, which has a larger probability of hitting the orange activator. While building this, we did notice you need to push the orange activator all the way down, or else it will spring back to its original position. We would recommend using a trigger release, lever, wedge, lift arm, or rack and pinion to push down on and solve this mission. Therefore, we would rate this mission a difficulty level of 6.5 out of 10. This spectacular mission is called Masterpiece. It has the same name as the season. Anyways, you have to build your innovation project and put it on top of the pedestal. Then bring it to the museum target area. If it is at least partly in the area or is in the area and is not supported by the pedestal, then you can earn 10 points. And if your innovation project is completely supported by the pedestal and the pedestal is completely inside the museum area, you get 20 points. But to be able to score the 20 points, no team equipment can be touching the innovation project or the pedestal at the end of the match. Here is the analysis that we made for the masterpiece mission. I have already covered the requirements and points, so I'll skip that for now. The difficulty level we decided was 3 because it's possible the pedestal may fall over in the navigation, but it's unlikely. Some attachment types that can be used to solve this mission are a delivery cart, a pullback cart, a lock mechanism, and a slingshot. I already said this, but no equipment may be touching the pedestal or innovation project at the end of the match. This mission is located in the south center of the game field, so it's pretty interesting to get there. For navigation, you'll need an accurate alignment to put the pedestal into the right spot. Aligning against the wall could help with this. Some additional notes we have for this mission is to possibly to place the pedestal upside down because the game instructions never said that wasn't allowed. You could use a rubber band cart, but that is not very accurate, requires consistent positioning, and you'd have to figure out how to remove the cart at the end of the match. The last additional note we have is you can look, lock the innovation project on the pedestal so it doesn't come off of it. That's all for mission four. The fifth mission is the augmented reality statue. In this mission, you have to completely rotate the statue to lift up the pedals, but make sure you don't do it too fast as it's quite flimsy. You will get 30 points for fully completing the mission. This is our analysis for mission five. We gave it an overall score of 6 as the navigation is quite tough and solving the mission has to be very robust. Possible attachments to solve this mission are arms, which can push and turn the lever while the robot moves, or a hook to pull the lever. For the navigation, go from the middle to, of the mat towards the mission. This will require some complex navigation and a wall alignment could be necessary to reposition the robot. Mission 6 is called Music, Concert, Lights, and Sounds. The mission has two tasks to score. First, if the light orange lever is rotated completely downwards, 10 points are awarded. If the speaker's orange lever is rotated completely to the left, 10 points are also awarded in addition. 
The max points music, concert lights, and sounds gives us is 20 points. Starting from the right home area, which is closer, navigation to the music concert might take some difficulty due to its position away from the launch area. To solve the lights part of the mission, we can use a one-way door, hook, and a soft, flexible hose to snap it back. Note that the lights are fairly high up, so it will be hard to design an attachment to reach them. As for the speakers portion, we can use a left arm to lift up the orange activator and then turn with the robot. You can potentially need two motors to complete the two tasks, or design some really cool passive attachments to solve them. Therefore, we would rate this mission a difficulty level of 8 out of 10. The seventh mission is the hologram performer. In this mission, the robot needs to push the lever all the way past the black line. This is the analysis for mission seven. As this mission is quite simple, it has a difficulty level of 1. To solve a mission, you can just use the robot's body or a flat wall to push the lever. The navigation is quite simple, consisting of move straights and turns. You can also deliver audiences there for more points. This is Mission 8, the rolling camera. If the rolling camera's white pointer is left of the dark blue square, but right of the medium and light blue, you get 10 points. If it's left of the dark and medium blue, but right of the light blue, you get 20 points. And if the pointer is left of the dark, medium, and light blue, you get 30 points. And if the white pointer is on a colored tile, you earn the points for the higher scoring area of the track. That's good. The mission analysis of mission eight. We went through the requirements already as well as the points, so I won't go over that. The difficulty level of the rolling camera is a six because it bounces off the end of the track, making it harder to get the most amount of points. Also, you have to lift an orange bar to be able to gain the most amount of points. There are many attachments that can be used to solve this mission. For example, a long axle to push the camera, a lift arm to pull up the orange beam, a long rack and pinion, or a long motor controlled lift arm that can be used from the side. Also note that at the end of the game, equipment can be touching the mission. The rolling camera is located near the right home area. A simple navigation ramp to get there is just to move straight from the right home area and just continuously move until you get to the left home area. Missions to be combined with. We thought that this mission can be combined with Mission 9, the movie set, because it's really close to the rolling camera. Some additional notes for this mission. One, maybe putting a friction object on the track to the camera doesn't bounce back after it goes down the rail. That's a pretty good idea. Two, it's hard to control the speed of the camera, so make sure you figure something out for that. Three, a rack and pinion can be used to solve both the rolling camera and the movie set. It requires two steps though. One, to move the movie set forward and another to lift up the orange lever blocking the way. Now that we have analyzed eight missions from this season, you might be wondering, am I able to finish all of them within the two minutes and 30 second time limit? If not, which mission should we start with first? We would recommend you to solve the missions with an easy difficulty and with more points first, then focus on other high-valued missions that are easy to access. For example, Mission 7, Mission 4, and Mission 1. You can also watch out for Missions 3 and 4 as you cannot have any equipment touching the mission after the game is over. Here we conclude the first part of our mission analysis. Thank you for watching and we hope it can help your solution development for the Masterpiece season. Please like this video and subscribe to our team YouTube channel. Good luck in your season. Stay tuned in for part two. <laughs>